What's up guys, Zach here at Trueform HQ. Today we're gonna go over walking on the Trueform. I actually got the uh, new Spartan uh, edition Trueform runner here. We're the official running training partner of uh, Spartan races. It's pretty cool. So uh, with walking on the Trueform, uh, just like running on the Trueform is gonna improve your running form, walking with the proper technique and proper form is gonna improve your walking form. Uh, but you gotta do it the right way, so we're gonna go over that. Once you hop onto the true form, uh, from running, whether you're running or walking, applying force into the ground, whether it's outside or on the true form, is gonna get you propelled forward, gonna get the belt moving. So if you can see I'm standing in the middle of the true form here, and if I lean forward, tread doesn't go anywhere. If I lean backwards, tread doesn't go anywhere. I'm moving, but the tread's not moving. So the only way to get yourself uh, propelled to that next step, if you start to add force in the ground. If you see I'm marching into place, the tread starts to move slightly behind me. You can think about it if you flip the bicycle upside down, got that back wheel spinning. All right, if you want to keep the wheel spinning, what would you do? Would you reach out, grab it with your hand and pull it? Or would you just slap the tire to keep it continuously spinning? You'd probably slap it because if you grab the tire, what would happen is you'd slow it down or possibly stop it before you go to that next spin. We want to keep it nice, smooth and efficient uh, and keep yourself injury free, put as less pressure on the joints as possible. So, uh, with the first step of walking, you're gonna place your foot slightly out in front of you, just like we would with running, uh, running with your center of mass, except this time we want a heel strike compared to a midfoot or forefoot strike when running, depending on the type of running we're doing. So you're gonna start with your foot uh, slightly out in front of you, on your heel, roll that foot over to your middle of your foot, your midfoot, onto your toes. Once you're on your toes, grab the ground of your toe, especially with your big toe, push it directly down to the tread. So if your glutes engage, and you're gonna take your opposite leg, in this case my left side, start with a little bit of a knee drive here, picking your foot off the ground, about ankle height, just so you can get clearance off the ground, and replace it uh, where your right foot was or where my right foot was. Heel strike, midfoot, onto the toes, and repeating nice, smooth motion, adding that force directly down, pushing it back, the tread behind you. So that's the basic uh, walking form to the lower half of the body. And then the upper half, as you notice, I was grabbing onto the handrails. We don't be holding onto the handrails when we're walking in the true form because when you're outside, there's not many options to grab onto. Uh, there's not really handrails outside. So we wanna have that nice, proper posture, keeping your chest up tall, head up tall. You can think about a string being pulled from the top of your head, keeping everything nice and aligned from your head, shoulders, hips, all the way down to your feet. All right, keep your shoulders down and back. You don't want any excess rotation in your lower back or your abdominals, just a slight twist of your hips into your core, into your stomach, so you can feel a little bit of a tension here. Look about three to five feet out in front of you and repeat that walking motion like we just talked about. Heel, midfoot, toes, grab with your big toe, activating those glutes, keeping that tension in your core with those shoulders back. All right, it might feel a little militant or look a little militant at first, but the more you practice, the more it's gonna feel natural. So you start off with a minute walking, up to 30 uh, or 60 minutes of walking a day would be very bene beneficial to your everyday workout routine or just a little de-stress, get some blood flow in your body. So standing up tall, foot underneath your center mass, heel, midfoot, grab the ground, feel the difference, feel in your core, feel in your glutes, feel the pain go away from your previous walking form to the proper walking technique on the true form and carry that outdoors. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.